I know Pier 1 is going out of business, but I really adore their sparkly pumpkins and I try to create two of them for this challenge and it's not white, my version, but I hope you like it. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and enjoying your day so far. And if you're new, visiting my channel for the first time. My name is Shule and I love decorating my home using happy colors and glam style. So in today's video, if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel for more relaxing as well as inspirational videos. In today's video, I'm super excited to participate on another look for less challenge that Yami hosts over at the Latina Next Door. Her co-host this month is Corey over at the Dessert DIY. If you're not familiar with their channels, I'm going to leave their links below along with the playlist. Please go and check them out. They are both very talented ladies. I'm sure you'll love it and subscribe while you're at it. For my DIY, I'll be using the ceramic blanks uh, that I bought from Hobbycraft and both of them were £5 each. I will be using this crushed velvet fabric to cover them and also for the stem, I'll be using the gilding method. If you've been with me for a while, you've already seen this method because I normally use this for all my pumpkin DIYs you just apply water like uh, adhesive and wait for 15 minutes and then add the gilding sheet that I bought from eBay. Since it's very watery adhesive, you just have to make sure it doesn't drip all over the places that you don't want the gilding to be applied. I applied both of them and they are now ready for gilding I'm just gently pressing it down first with my fingers then with a brush and covering it is very forgiving although it's fiddly as the gilding sheet is very very thin and it breaks and goes all over the place that's the only disadvantage all done I'm now tidying it up and I'm really, really happy with the end result. And now I'm going to be covering my pumpkin using hot glue as well as some clear adhesive. I started from a crease because I didn't want the seam to be visible since I was covering every single crease with a sparkly strip. My intention was to glue all over the pumpkin but after doing a couple of the parts I decided not to because it was seeping through the fabric and I really didn't like it. In the end, I only applied hot glue in the creases of the pumpkin and it was enough. I was also applying it to the top as well as the bottom to keep it in place. Since this is a round object, you have to pleat as well. And I was scrunching it up and pleating it neatly and using hot glue gun to secure the pleats. I have to say I burnt my fingers throughout this process so you have to make sure you're a lot more careful than I was so you wouldn't actually burn your fingers.
You can see the glue stains, that's why I gave up on that idea soon. I didn't want to trim my material too early, so I left it until the end to make sure that I have enough fabric to finish it off and make a nice and invisible seam. I applied hot glue on the top of the creases as well, then I reduced the bulk of the material using mini pleats. When the top part was done, I then tackled with the bottom part the same way. Made pleats again to get rid of the bulk of the material at the bottom. And I did exactly the same thing for the taller one. And the next day I continued, you can see the beautiful color in daylight. I will be using this beautiful bling sticker sheet or strip and it was so easy to use, so easy to cut. But unfortunately, I didn't have enough, so I had to go to the shop, the range store, 
but they didn't have any then i went to another store the same store another branch and they didn't have it either so i had to come up with an alternative as you can see because of the adhesive packing it was very easy to apply All done and beautiful, ready for all the sparkle. As you can see, I had only three strips left and in a minute you're going to see how I tackled the issue when I found out that I couldn't find any more the same product. And now let's start the fun part i'm going to mix and make a cocktail of these lovely sparkle i was going to use purple but then i decided not to just stuck with the silver colors only i also decided to use these beautiful little glass gems and it really added extra sparkle as well I always cover my plates with foil or with cling film for easy cleaning and I used a sparkly new mod podge from Hobbycraft and it worked perfectly for this application. I applied generous amount of glue as it was a textured fabric. I didn't want to apply the glue to whole pumpkin because it's a slow progress and I'm sure it would have dried up by the time I finished in the sections that I started before so I tackled a section at a time.
it turned out so beautiful so glam so elegant i really really love this diy When I couldn't find the bling strip with adhesive, I managed to find a bling wrap instead and it was exactly the same without the adhesive back in and it worked perfectly once I cut them into exactly the same size strips. I applied hot glue on the top as well as the bottom and it worked perfectly, I didn't even have to apply in the middle. All done, ready for sparkle. I always put my glue or paint uh, into a Ziploc bag in between the applications so it doesn't dry up and I don't have to wash the brushes. and I applied it exactly the same way and tackled one section at a time. And this one turned out beautiful as well and now we are going to go and style with it. Mod Podge Sparkle was colorful so in between you can see the blues and the purples it's coming from the Mod Podge and I'm so 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 happy with the results but it was shredding a lot so I decided to use clear glue on top to stop that happening. I didn't want to use a hairspray because I didn't want to stain the fabric and it worked really well. And now let's go and style with them. For now I put them next to my TV in front of my color coordinating artwork and I'm so 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 happy with the result. In a minute I'm going to show you how I got rid of that excess glitter you see on the sides. I just wrapped around some masking tape and gently pressed it down on the fabric to get rid of the excess glitter. All done, all beautiful. I love it.
I will be using these colors for fall I'm just waiting for one or two more item to finish and one of them is gonna be a very large artwork and after that I will be doing a home tour so you have to come back and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I do upload that home tour video Thank you so much Corey and Yami for hosting this challenge. I really really enjoyed participating and thank you so much all of you for watching and hopefully commenting on this video. I hope you found it inspirational for your own DIY projects. If you did please subscribe to my channel for more inspirational and relaxing videos and until the next video stay safe. Bye bye.